Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will show you how to run Spring Boot application in VS Code. So let's start. For running your Spring Boot application, at first you need to install VS Code. You can simply go to your web browser and install the VS Code. After installing VS Code, you have to open it and it will show something like this. Here you have to go to this extension icon and click here. For running Java, you have to search Java extension pack. So Java extension pack. This is the Java extension pack from Microsoft. So you have to click on install here. It will take some five minutes to install. After this, you have to install another extension which is for running Spring Boot. So search Spring Boot extension pack or Spring Boot extension. You can see the first uh, Spring Boot extension which is used to run the Spring Boot application in Spring Suit tool. So you have to install this. Click on install and it is from VMware. Remember this and download this particular extension only. It will again take some time to install. So both the extensions got installed. So close this tab and again go to your explorer. And here you can see you have the option to create a Java project. So click here, click on this option, create Java project. And then click on Spring Boot option to create a Spring Boot application. Then click on Maven project if you want to create a Maven project or Gradle if you want that. Then here you have to specify the Spring Boot application version. You can choose the snapshot version also or the latest version also. I am choosing the snapshot. Then the language, I will choose Java. Then uh, this is the group ID. You can give any group ID. I will give com.registry. After giving the group ID, click enter. Then uh, you can give any name. Uh, first app you can give and click on enter then uh, this is the file uh, you can choose either jar or var i will choose jar and then the jdk version you have to choose i will choose the latest 22 version after that here you can choose your dependencies now, without choosing all dependencies also, you can create a Spring Boot application. In that case, you can create a standalone application. It will not be a Spring Web application. But if you want to create a web application, then you can choose the Spring Web, uh, Spring web dependency, which will include the Tomcat server. So I am including the Spring Web dependency. You can also include JPA, Hibernate, etc. And after that, click Enter, press Enter. And here, here you have to choose the folder inside which you want to create the Spring Boot application. So I will go to my desktop for now and here I have a folder Spring Boot project. This folder I will choose. You can create a separate folder and choose that folder and I will generate the project. After you generate the project, the open button will come at the bottom right corner. So click on this open button to open the project. Click on yes, I trust the author and here you can see first app Spring Boot application is in the explorer. You can view the pom.xml file. So this is the pom.xml file. You Here you have the group ID com.registry and then uh, here you have the artifact ID first app which is the uh, app name. Uh, then the version which you selected snapshot then the name of the application and then this is the Java version 22. And here you can see the dependency Spring Boot Starter Web for including the web features like Tomcat server, etc. Then this is the Spring Boot Starter Test for running your unit tests. And then, uh, so this is all about pom.xml. Now, to verify that everything is running fine, you can go to the SRC. Inside that, you can go to main, inside Java. Uh, so here you have the first app application.java so this class contains the main function fine so here you can create another uh, controller class uh, to view it on the web 
so you can create a first controller dot java here inside the first controller dot java we will create our function to display hello world on the web so public string hello and after that i will return hello world from this function so on top of this i will give the request mapping annotation so this request mapping annotation will map this particular function to the particular url so i want the url to have slash hello with it and you can uh, just download the particular import so go to the quick fix and just import request mapping all dot spring framework dot web dot bind dot annotation import it and for this to work you also have to give the annotation rest controller because this rest controller will control the controller so import it now save it and let's run it how you will run you have to go to this button run java and you can run it and then you have to choose which one you want to run since we have the main function inside first app application dot java so you have to run this only so click here as you can see on the problem screen it is shown that the package is not mentioned so we have to mention the package so what i will do i will go to the first app application and from here i will copy the package and here i will paste the package and again i will run this as you can see on the terminal the spring app started to run but it is showing an error port 8080 was already in use so port 8080 is used by some other services so you have to change this port for changing that go to resources go to application dot properties here server dot port you have to change the port number i will change the port number to 8091 you can change to any other port number which is not used by other services and just save it now again run the first controller the java and as you can see now it's running on port 8091 and it's not showing the error that server failed or something like that let's see the output on the browser so go to your browser and type the url localhost 8091 8091 is the port number we have and from there we have to go to this hellos okay because if you remember on the vs code uh, we have used request mapping slash hello so here in this particular sub url only we need to go and here as you can see hello world is printed here so yeah our first spring boot application in vs code is created hope you like this video thanks for watching have a nice day